Howdy, this is Robert from RBC Consultant again. Uh, what I'm doing today is um, testing a sleuth box uh, for mining for gold. So uh, here we go, follow me through this. Right here, I've got the uh, standard uh, do-it-yourself uh, sleuth box. It's uh, kind of like a machined metal. Uh, it's got some ribs here. Uh, it's got some, I think this is called miner's fabric. And uh, it's got a grate in here. Now, I'm not exactly sure on how this works. I've never been a su successful gold miner by any means. But what I did is I kind of been running some stuff through it. And just to get an idea on how it works. Uh, what I did to this thing is I sprayed this with a two-part Ultra Everdry. Uh, it's an H2O repellent, oil repellent. Uh, it's kind of the newest thing out there on the market right now. Uh, but what I did is I sprayed the, the metal in here and then I sprayed the fabric front and back, bottom coat, top coat. And uh, what I noticed when I ran the stuff through here is that the water did not touch the fabric. Uh, the sediments settled into the fabric, I think like they're supposed to, and the water flows over the top of them and doesn't touch it. And I noticed when I had it up at a, a steeper angle, uh, the water went through so so fast that uh, uh, it was just carrying everything through. So uh, I laid it down a little flatter here, and I'll give you an idea uh, on how it works. But you know, I'm not a, a gold miner by any means. Uh, again, there's metal ribs here, uh, a great miner's fabric. I've sprayed everything except for the grate and the metal uh, ribs here. And then what I'm going to do at the end is I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to tip this thing upside down and uh, drop it on a white towel over here and uh, show you that the uh, sediment that fell out of here and show you that this stays perfectly dry. Now, I'm not saying that this is definitely beneficial because I'm not a miner, but uh, if you have uh, mined for gold uh, and this is, sounds interesting to you, definitely give me a call. Uh, this here is going to California. Uh, they're going to test it for me down there. Uh, and because like I said, I, I'm not a gold miner by any means. So what I'm going to do is put some uh, dirt and gravel here that I got out of a hole out of the back and I'm going to run some water through it just to give you an idea of how this works. And I don't know if I'm at the right angle or anything, uh, but you know, if somebody out there uh, knows a little bit about this that uh, can uh, give me a call and would like to maybe test it on something they have, uh, I'd be more than willing to have it shipped here, spray it and send it back and you give me your input on it. But uh, just another idea that over here we're testing in the shop. So uh, here it goes. Like I said, this is just some uh, basic uh, dirt, rock that I'm going to put up here. Uh, looks like I got some twigs in here and some grass, but don't probably need that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and start pouring some water down this and see if I can get it to flow through. And I, I don't know if I'm doing this correctly at all, but uh, you can see that all the water's coming through at the end really clean. Uh, I got a lot of bigger stuff here. I don't know how that actually works going through it, but we'll try and push her down through with a little bit more water here. But as you can see, is the, the fabric underneath uh, isn't getting touched. It's filling up with all kinds of little debris, and I think that's how it's supposed to work. So there's a couple of gallons of water to it, and you can still see it's still draining. The fabric is picking up all the little, little tiny rocks, uh, the, all these bigger rocks here, I don't know if these are probably too big, but uh, you can see that the, the fabric below, especially up here, these really filled up with really fine sediment here, and then all these grooves in here are filled up with uh, some little sediment. I really don't see any gold yet. But uh, I imagine these big rocks are probably too big for this. It's probably meant for like maybe out of a creek or something. But uh, you can see that all the, the little sedim sediment did fall through there. You can see how the water just pours off of it. The fabric and everything is perfectly dry in there. It's, it's just the water's beating through. So uh, I know that these clips here undo this. This leans up out of the way. This grate looks like it's removable here, and it's it's holding a lot of the bigger stuff here. We'll just we'll get rid of that. Set this in here, 
And then, as you can see, these grooves on this fabric are all filled up with sediment. So, I don't know where you go from here, but you can see that the, that is bone dry inside there. The little balls of water are still kind of beating through it, but uh, it's perfectly clean. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. I'm going to flip this upside down. Uh, we're going to flip it upside down. I'm going to drop this on a white piece of paper and uh, show you what came out of it. And then I'm going to turn the camera over here and let you take a look at it. But this is the miner's fabric. As you can see, that thing is perfectly dry, just like I started from scratch. It's got a little grass on it. Uh, probably not the correct mixture of stuff, but that stuff is perfectly dry, ready to reuse again. I didn't have to sluice it in water to get the fines out of it at all. But we'll set that right there. Now I'm going to grab the camera here, and uh, we're going to take a closer shot of this thing here. There's the miner's fabric there. It's got a little bit of grass on it because I'm just using yard dirt. Uh, but you can see the box is uh, perfectly dry. got some pretty good sized rocks in there. But uh, that, that part of it's dry. The miner's fabric is uh, pretty dry and pretty clean. So there's the muddy water I've been playing with. But over here, this is what I did when I flipped it upside down. Now I'm not sure what you do from this. I think from here it goes to these uh, green pans here. And uh, you separate it that way. But this is the stuff that came out of it. These are all the fines that were down in the grooves. Uh, so, I don't know if that helps, but like I said, uh, this is a standard do-it-yourself uh, sleuth box here, uh, miner's fabric, and uh, Ultra Everdry. So, uh, I'm going to ship this thing out as soon as I get it cleaned up here, and uh, it's going to go to California for uh, some testing on it. But if any of you guys out there uh, know some uh, info on gold mining and uh, want me to test it, or uh, want to send me some information or have some of their stuff sprayed and tested. Uh, this is Robert from RBC Consulting. Uh, my number and email is on the beginning of the uh, video here. So uh, give me a call. If you want to ship me something, I'll spray it. Or if you want the product, I can get it for you. So I uh, look forward for my next video and uh, stay tuned with me.